Well, guys, first off, I'm going to start off by saying I am sorry for not even having a preview posted for that and for uploading this video very, very late. But, you know, I had a lot of work after the game. And before the game, uh, I uploaded the preview. I'm, I made the preview. I spent a lot of time on it. And then it just never uploaded. It just never uploaded. And then everything got corrupt and I, it was all gone. Like, it said it uploaded, and then it was... I don't know what the error was, man. I have no clue what the error was. So, yeah, I, I just couldn't upload. I couldn't upload throughout the week. I had a lot of work, a lot of schoolwork to finish. Uh, but this weekend, I have a lot of time. I have a lot of breeding, breeding room. I was able to finish, finish it up all. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So... First off, it's going to be a little bit of a, of a longer one. The first part is going to be talking about the game that happened, my thoughts on it. And then and then after that, it's it's more of a bye week talk. Okay? It's it's going to be more of a bye week talk because the Ravens are not playing this week. They're going to be uh, they're going to be taking a break here. They're going to be taking a break. So, yeah, man. The last part is going to be a, a bye week talk. But I think most of the video is going to be dedicated to the game. Just because I have more script. I have more to say. I think. But, you know, the bye week, it's going to be the last part. I'm going to leave it till the end of the video. So, first off, let, let's go through the stat line. Important stat lines into the game. So, Lamar, 15 out of 31. 257 passing yards. One passing touchdown. 88 yards on the ground added. Marquise Brown, five receptions for 80 yards and a touchdown. Rashad Bateman, three receptions for 80 yards. Mark Andrews, three receptions for uh, for 48 yards. On defense, notable stats. Anthony Averitt, seven tackles. Marlon Humphrey had a pick. Tyus Bowser and, and, and Kalias Campbell got, both got a sack. So that's pretty much the stat line here. So first off... In the analysis, we're going to start with offense. And what I'm going to start if, uh, start off with is Lamar. He did not have a, a bad game, but it was it certainly wasn't his best. Okay, he missed some throws and he took some unnecessary tackles. But he did not even get much help either. He, he didn't even get any help. Uh, you know, he, he was... Man... He was forced to improvise a lot and keep the ball to himself to try and make a play. Because the running backs, the running backs fell. Uh, they didn't even do good this game. They've been struggling these past few weeks. And the only bright spot of the offense, pretty much, other than maybe Lamar, was Rashad Bateman, Howard Brown, and Mark Andrews, pretty much. Bateman and and Marquise had both eighty yards. Bateman had played a very good game. He's been very polished ever since he's he's uh, he's debuted, looking way better than I thought he would. Uh, notably, thirty five yard catch, and you had Hollywood Brown with an amazing touchdown spectacular touchdown catch for 39 yards but other than that not a lot of bright spots the o-line very inconsistent Villanueva and Tyree Phillips were horrible and they're gonna be our starting tackles moving forward because Patrick McCarry is injured unless we make a trade at the deadline these two guys are the guys we're rolling with at tackle for the rest of the season. Well, not for the rest of the season, but, but moving forward for, for a few weeks at least because McCarry's injury, he's going to miss some time. But yeah, uh, we're going to have to do something about this running back room. Uh, we are much improved passing down the field, but we're still in a run first team and the run game has not been effective at all. And 
man, like that is the the time where we're just missing that one two punch in Dobbins and Gus Bus. You have Latavius Murray. He he could play that Edwards role, but he's he, he's just worse. Devontae Freeman, he's I mean he cannot break tackles and he's just he feels slow. He's been playing better these past few weeks, but these past two weeks. But I, I'm not the biggest fan. Tyson Williams just I, I don't know if it's communication problems, but he's he's been struggling in other areas other than just running the ball. Honestly, I think again another problem is the way we're using the running backs. Greg Roman needs to it, he needs to just Latavius Mirror should not be the lead back. Okay, he should not be the lead back. Uh Devontae Freeman should not be getting snaps over Tyson Williams. I think Tyson Williams running the ball has been better. Has been the better running back running the ball. Specifically. If we're talking talking in terms of production. Tyson Williams, I've liked Tyson Williams way more. Does he need to work on other areas of the game? Yes. He has a pass blocking where it's bad. Communication with Lamar has not been has not been the best. And his vision has been meh at best. But man. And, and then he and then you have Le'Veon Bell who doesn't really uh, man, he, he, it's pretty much done. He, he's done. Uh, again, the run game this year has not been as good as it was in the Lamar Jackson era the other years. And it's it's pretty much all Lamar. It's pretty much all Lamar this year. Uh, and especially these past few weeks. Especially lately, it, it's, it, it's been Lamar. Only Lamar. And, yeah, man. You just get nothing out of these running backs. Like we're not getting, we're not getting that respect from the defense, any from opposing defenses anymore. And people don't even respect our run game anymore. It's pretty much that, and it puts a lot of pressure on Lamar as a runner or a passer. Like. Again, it's it's this year is a problem of balance. Once again, last year it was shitty pass offense, good run defense. Now it's the other way around. We've been just unable to find balance in the, in, in the Greg Roman system. Ever since Greg Roman became offensive coordinator, we've had trouble finding balance at all. Uh, like we just had a lot of trouble. Defensively, where do I even start? Where do I even start? Uh, you just you just got torched. We just got torched. Uh, four hundred sixty yards for Burrow, forty one points, five hundred twenty seven total yards of offense. Uh, like they they just had like the longest touchdowns, eighty two yards, fifty five yards, forty one yards, thirty two yards. Our tackling is just so hard to watch. And that secondary as well. We got beat so much. We just got beat so much. The defense is an issue. The defense is just an issue. I mean, we are 5-2. We are 5-2. But we need to play better defensively. We just need to play better defensively. Like, at least be a average. At least be above average. But we're not able to do that. We have an elite offense, bad defense. And again, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. Again, uh, fun fact. We have allowed three 400-yard passers in the first seven games. Three. That's an issue. And yeah, uh, that that Marcus Peters loss is looking even worse. But I think even without Peters, we are still supposed to be fine at corner. 
on paper, uh, we we do not look bad. On paper, we do not look bad. Uh, we just have a lot of guys just underperforming. It, it just underperforming. Uh, it, it's like man, we've invested so much into the into secondary depth last off season as well. We have invested a lot in draft picks into corners, secondary in general, and. Again, I mean, the play calling is, is not helping. The play calling is not helping. Uh, wink. I mean, I don't hate you as a defensive coordinator, but you, you got to stop with that shit. You got to stop with just blitzing, blitzing, blitz, blitzing, blitzing, blitzing. Joe Burrow was great without the against the blitz all year. And he... And he showed it this game. He showed it this game. He was great in this game. And what do you do? You still blitz. You continue to blitz. As if it's going to... As if... As if with time, it's going to do better. I mean... Uh, we have been able to get pressure on him. But... What else? He's been able to torch us. We shouldn't have blitz. It should have never been the game plan. I do not care how much you love blitzing. This should not be the game plan. It should not be the game plan against quarter against a quarterback who literally torches defenses who blitz. But man, aside from that, uh, Houston, Houston and OA looked very good. Again, like look. It didn't. The Ravens don't need to blitz. You, we did not need to blitz at all. Without the blitz, we were already getting pressure. And if it's not working, don't do it at all. Don't do it at all. And the freaking tackling, again, the Ravens have the worst tackling efficiency in the league. This is unacceptable. Uh, like, man, we failed to wrap up all the big plays. Just broken tackles after broken tackle. Short pass game again. Turning into big gains because we failed to tackle. We have not been good. Uh, we've been good for two games. The defense has been good for two games this season. And it, I, I'm not going to say the Lions game. I mean... I would maybe say the Lions game because the first half, we let up zero points. We, we were flawless in the first half. And then the second half, we let up. Uh, in the second half, we just played worse. We just, we just struggled passing. We just tr struggled tackling, you know? So that that's pretty much it. Like, we've had maybe two and a, two and a half games good. And then... Other than that, defense has been shit. Completely shit. Uh, you just need to get it together, man. And Ravens and having bad defense sounds pretty weird because the Ravens always really have a reputation of having a great defense every time. Just organization built off great defensive play. And, I mean, man... Like Ray, Ray Lewis, and Reed, it it's pretty much the culture here. It's the culture they built. Like man, it it's it's it, it's not. I mean, you are definitely not playing like a Raven. You are definitely not playing like a Raven if you're playing shitty defense. But man, that that's it for the analysis. We're done. Poor performance. Last week, heading into Dubai, five two, two weeks to re. The team has two weeks to regroup. We have the Vikings next, November seventh, next week. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I'm gonna talk about the bye week here. So we are five two. Cons Despite all the setbacks we, we've had before the regular season even kicked off, 
so yeah, uh, we are sitting in a good place. We are sitting. I can say we are sitting in a good place. Well, yeah, man. Uh, like, who do we lose? Like, opera cornerback, a, a star, a star running back who's who's supposed to have a breakout year. Another great running back, a solid linebacker. And a ton of other solid players. We do not have a player on IR or injured who is bad. I mean, except for Justice Hill because he's shit. Uh, he shouldn't. He should have been cut because Tyson Williams is better, a, a thousand times better. So yeah, man, it's pretty much it. Uh, and then you had Ronnie Stanley. You had Ronnie Stanley missing the rest of the season. Once again. But yeah, it, we could have easily been like completely shit. But again, this team is showing the mentality and talent. And again, uh, I mean, it's it's it, it's uninspiring and hard to believe, but it happens to every team. But yeah, it it it, it happens. It happens totally. But uh, even when being five two, we have we have problems. We have problems. We need to address at the deadline, and I think they will at least half of them, whether it's by trade or just scheming or just anything like that, or players coming back even. But yeah, we're gonna have to fix these problems for us to have a chance to get to the Super Bowl. Okay, uh, tackling it's it, it's it, it it's man it's 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 basics. Okay, it's 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 football basics. Okay, you, you, you need to know how to tackle. It's it's already automatic with that. Wink, you just gotta adapt your game plan to who the hell you're playing, and not just blitz, 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 no matter what. Okay. If the quarterback is bad against pressure, go ahead. If the quarterback is bad against pressure or he he his O line is not good, go ahead. But if the quarterback is a literal god against the blitz, why would you send eight guys? For God's sakes. After that. Run game needs to be addressed, okay? Secondary needs to be needs to tighten up because we have been torched many times. So, yeah. It, the, the bye came at a very, very good time here after a loss. All great. It, at least we know what needs to be fixed. So yeah, it's it's not it's not the end of the world that we lost. In some ways, definitely a good thing, but man, uh, we're still one of the top teams in the AFC, and yeah, we're gonna have guys like hopefully Derek Wolf gonna finally make his season debut. Nick Boyle is close to return. Uh, Latavius Murray, Sammy Watkins, all should be back. Chris Westry, Ben Cleveland, Dalen Hayes should be back in a few weeks as well. So, man, uh, it's it's getting better. Our injury situation is getting better. It's it's not going to be good at all. It's, it's not going to be good this season, but it's it's getting better. It, it, you know, it, it's, it's it's getting better. And as on top of that, the team just has is just so poised. Grit never never gives up. It, and yeah, it's it, it's a special team this year. We have a special team. Uh, you know, we're just so mentally there. So, Ravens fans, keep your head up. Uh, un until we have Lamar, we we always have a chance. So let's go. You know. So I think from here it can get better. And yeah. Before I wrap this up, uh, I'm going to just say a few trade targets I would want f 
for the Ravens. So, guys who I want us to trade for. Okay, so secondary. I, I want us to trade for a corner. Uh, you could try a few guys like Kyle Fuller would be great. I heard the Broncos would li like to just eat money for, for teams to get him. So I would love for us to get Kyle Fuller. Uh, running back, Miles Sanders would be very good. Uh, I wouldn't mind Marlon Mack. Miles Sanders would be amazing, though. And the Eagles don't even know how to use him. So if the Eagles won't use him properly, then we should. Uh, O-line, somebody like Andre Dillard would be great. Uh, he would be very underrated. Uh, he's a... A need. He's a need. At tackle, it's definitely a need. You know? So, yeah. That, that's pretty much it. All I want to say, if it's your first time stopping by, subscribe. Uh, click the bell to enable notifications. Comment down below your thoughts and and how you're feeling coming into the bye week. And yeah, guys. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, we just come out ball. Uh, we just come out stronger next week.